Hiya guys! Today I'll be knitting this very warm and chunky Cal Lala mode. I found this pattern on Ravelry designed by Ellen Gill. Let's get started. I used higher higher bamboo thick circular needles. I found the 9mm on a 32 inch cable best for this project. What I like about these circular needles is how smooth the joint is. I hardly ever find that yarn snags where the cable meets the needle. This is unlike most other needles I have used previously. I'm using the remaining yarn from my hat shaped hat video for this. It's Summer Salt, the Space Cadet by Countess Blaze. It's a super chunky yarn, perfect for your autumn knitting projects. To start, you cast on 112 stitches. Ellen advises that she likes to make her cows a bit baggy. So if you wish to change the size, either increase or decrease your stitches by four to find the perfect fit for you. I have my Panda Lee Click It ready to count my stitches as I'll be working in the round. Now if you haven't knitted in the round before, the part most people struggle with is how to join your stitches correctly. Here's my method for making sure I don't twist it. First you want your needle with your ball of yarn connected in your right hand and the other needle in your left. Now if I lie this loop down, you can see my cast on edge on the inside of the loop. Make sure that this is all on the inside and doesn't twist around the cable. Rotate any parts that are twisted and then you're good to start knitting. Unlike knitting flat pieces where you knit a row, flip your piece and then repeat the process again, you simply keep knitting round and round and round, hence knitting in the round. The first round of this cowl is a knit one purl one rib stitch. The second round is a purl one knit one rib stitch. You then repeat these two rounds once more. To mark the beginning of each round, I'm going to use the higher higher yarn ball stitch markers. Standard way is to hook it over the needle in between the first and last stitch of the round, but so I can show you all six that you get in the pack, I'll be attaching them to the last stitch of the round. This can snag your project, so I don't recommend it, but for the sake of this video, I'll show you this way. Now the border of the cowl is completed by two rounds of purl, followed by two rounds of knit. I love it when I can start seeing the pattern emerging. The diagonal pattern in the centre is a double rib stitch. So for two rounds, you do knit two, purl two, all the way around. Then the next two rounds, you start with one purl stitch and then carry on with your knit two, purl two. Your last three stitches on that round you do a knit two purl one. Then you follow that with two rounds of purl two knit two. You follow this by two rounds of purl two knit two. 
and then the following two rounds. So knit one stitch, purl two, knit two around until three stitches remain and finish with purl two, knit one. Now these eight rounds is the core of your pattern. Repeat them one more time for the cowl in the picture of the pattern, but if you want to make it thicker, you can repeat these multiple times to get your desired width. Now, as you may have noticed, I'm running out of yarn. Luckily, I have more. It's still in its skein form, but with a touch of editing magic, boom, it's in ball form. Ready to carry on. Now, I think I may have gone a bit too short with my 32 inch cable. My work is bursting off the needles and requires a lot more shimmying than normal to rotate around the circulars. The 40 inch may have been a smarter choice. If I had used the higher, higher interchangeable needles with adapters, I could have extended my cables to an ideal length in the middle of knitting, but learning curve for next time and maybe a helpful tip for you guys. pattern right now. As much as summer's been lovely, roll on autumn so I can wear all the chunky knitted things. Now I'm gonna take a minute to tell you about a new set that we have just released, our chunky knitting set. It comes in your choice of bamboo, steel or sharp. You get three tips in eight, nine, and 10 millimeters, seven large cables ranging from 16 to 60 inches. It includes our sheep needle gauge, needle grips, animal snips, a tape measure, yarn ball stitch markers, and a set of stitch holders, all held together with one of our gorgeous interchangeable cases and a free autumn panda pin. We've designed this set with the idea it's a time of year when you want to start making warm and chunky knits quickly. Focusing on circulars instead of straight needles, as personally I do find heavier projects are held more comfortably on a cable than on a straight needle. If this interests you, head over to our website, and if it doesn't, write in the comments what your ideal higher higher set would include. This is something we can work on in future, and hopefully you guys will like. Right, so back to the project. After 16 rounds of the diagonal pattern, it's reversing the rounds one through eight. So you knit two more rows, purl two rows, two rows of purl one, knit one, then two rows of knit one, purl one, then two rows of purl one, knit one, and a final two rows of knit one, purl one. Then simply cast off all your stitches. Mm. 
to cut my arm, I'm using the higher, higher puppy snips. Our handy little scissors that are also a keyring. You then tie off your yarn, weave in your ends, and that's your cowl completed. This project did take me just over five hours to complete. It's a simple enough pattern, you just have to be paying attention to your rounds. This is a baggy cowl and it can easily be worn as a shoulder wrap, especially if you choose to repeat the centre pattern at least one more time to make it a bit longer. Thank you Ellen for the pattern. There are links below to everything I've used in this video, a list of our stockists and some tutorials I have made on the basics of knitting. If you want to get started, please go over there and have a look. Let me know if you like them or if there's anything I can do in my future tutorials that you'd like to learn. I'll be posting videos every Friday on different projects I have completed and occasionally we'll be doing tutorial weeks. Please let me know if there's anything you would like to see more of, any suggested patterns or higher higher products you would like to see in use. And until next time, happy knitting!